welcome back. Today I'll be sharing a few high protein recipes that I prefer to eat on days when I'm consciously eating clean and healthy. For breakfast I made vegetable protein pancakes. These actually are vegetable protein chila but I'm calling them pancakes since I'll make them in the same shape today. These are just perfect for tiffin boxes and also to make them even quicker I will fine chop veggies with the help of a mini chopper. I'm using onion, cabbage, capsicum and spinach, but you can add other veggies of your choice. Now the protein source here will come from pulses. I pre-soaked a combination of a few pulses and now I'll grind them along with the green chili, ginger and curry leaves. Instead of water, I'll add curd to fine grind the pulses. Now for the pancake shape, I use my cast iron tadka pan. Into the pulses paste goes salt, chaat masala powder and black salt and beat it well for a couple of minutes. Now add the finely chopped veggies and mix it well. In the end, I'll add a pinch of eno fruit salt to fluff up this mixture. To bring some crunch, I'll add some ghee into the pan and add some mustard seeds. Into this tempering, I'll pour the batter and cook it covered for 3 to 4 minutes from both sides. I just added mustard seeds, but you can also add sesame seeds in the tempering if you like them. Lastly, serve with green chutney or ketchup and crunchy from outside but soft from inside vegetable protein pancakes are ready. I was super hungry after the workout and this quick breakfast was indeed a good choice. Mornings are usually super busy and so I'm always on lookout for quick lunch ideas that are healthy too. So today, I'll make high protein in nice version of pasta, which is masala paneer pasta. A delicious pasta recipe asks for a good quality pasta. So for today's pasta recipe, I'll use Daisano Pasta Licious Penne Pasta. Daisano Pasta is made from durum wheat samarina and is produced from hard wheat that doesn't feel sticky in the mouth. It also brings in 11 gram source of protein in every 100 gram serving which gives it an added bonus. Daisano pasta has no cholesterol and is free from trans fat making it ideal for healthy snacks, salads and even complete meals. Daisano is known for its high quality ingredient and authentic Italian flavors as it does not become soggy and remains chewable and biteable even after boiling. The fine ridges on the top gives a very nice texture which helps to hold the sauce for a creamier bite of pasta. This makes it easier to make any kind of pasta recipe, be it white sauce, red sauce or pink sauce. Daisano pasta comes in multiple variety of pasta like penne, fusilli, elbow, spaghetti or farfalle to meet all my pasta needs. So without delaying further, Let's get cooking our high protein paneer pasta and for that I'll start by chopping a few vegetables first. Once the vegetables are chopped, in a kadai I'll take very little olive oil and saute all the chopped veggies along with salt and pepper and minced garlic on a high flame for 2 minutes maximum. The vegetables should remain crunchy and should also have a nice bite to them while eating pasta. Alongside, I'll put the water in a saucepan to boil pasta. In the same karai, I'll slightly saute paneer cubes as this helps add texture to the paneer and also helps in holding its shape while cooking pasta in the sauce. Next step is to make paneer masala and for that, in 1 teaspoon olive oil, I'll saute minced garlic and finely chopped onion. Once the water in the saucepan boils, add some salt and penne pasta and cook till packaged instructions. Once onion turns golden brown, I'll add tomatoes 
and leave them for cooking. Now for the masala, I'll make a mixture of spices and add a little water to make a spice slurry. Add the slurry into the onion tomato mix and let the spices cook for 3 to 4 minutes. After 12 to 14 minutes, strain the pasta out. The pasta has cooked very nicely while still holding a good bite to it. I'll add this cooked pasta into the masala and mix everything well. For the sauce, I'll add 2 cups of milk and add oregano and Italian spice mix for the flavour. Lastly, add chopped tomatoes and cook for just 2 minutes and later add all the sorted veggies. You can also add 1 teaspoon tomato ketchup for the pink colour and to balance the flavour right and then mix everything well. As the gravy thickens, pasta will be cooked and ready to serve. Garnish with herb of your choice and super delicious Indianized version of healthy high protein pasta is ready. Ruthvi was super happy to see her favorite paneer pasta for lunch and I was happy to have a healthier bowl of meal without putting much effort. With the rains outside, this hot and steamy quick pasta bowl just tasted divine. After lunch when kids sleep, it's my relaxed time and these days herbal teas are my newest addiction. I prefer taking light teas during this time like green tea but ever since I tasted the herbal tea, I would prefer it over green tea till I wish to enjoy it. Herbal teas are infused with herbs and helps instantly relieve any stress and feel very very relaxed. This one has a combination of rose and mint flavour and every single sip is just so delightful. A hot cup of flavoured tea in this weather is a perfect combination for a relaxing time. For the evening snack, I prefer seasonal fruit. Thanks to Summers for the amazing mangoes. Literally, the quickest way of peeling mango is to run a glass through the mango slice. This leads to no wastage and scoops the flesh out of the mango instantly. Although mango itself is delicious, but I also like to add some crunch to my fruits for a nice texture. So for that, I will sprinkle some millet granola on the top of the mangoes. Usually also I sprinkle some nuts and seeds on fruits in kids tiffin box also. A few easy tricks to add some extra nutrients here and there. This no effort snack will keep me full till dinner is cooked. For dinner I wanted to make a nice sweet and spicy chaat. So I pre-soaked some chickpea to make chole tikki. So the preparation of chole begins by making a paste of onion and garlic. I will also collect some whole spices that will go with the chole. My version of chole recipe is extremely quick. To be honest, I can enjoy elaborate cooking only when Karthik is around. Otherwise, I always prefer quick cooking options. For cooking chole, I'll first saute all the whole spices in very little oil. Now, I'll add the onion garlic paste and saute it till it turns golden brown. Now, I'll add basic chole spices for the flavour. While that's cooking, I'll make the tomato and ginger puree. And when that's made, I'll add it to the sauteed onion paste. Add salt to paste up the cooking of tomatoes and cook covered for 3 to 4 minutes. Once the masala gets ready, I'll add a piece of amla and soak chickpea into the cooker. Adjust salt and water and cook it covered till 3 to 4 whistles. For the tikki, I'll start grating some boiled potatoes. I keep potatoes ready which helps in quick turnaround of the recipes. 
Into the grated potato, I'll add homemade paneer for some more protein into this meal. And to bind everything together, I'll use ragi flour. In goes different spices that will elevate the taste of these tikkis. In the end, I'll chop some coriander and add it to the tikki mix. Mix everything and shape the tikkis out of this dough. Now I'll make a rice flour slurry by adding rice flour, salt, pepper and water and dip these tikkis before toasting them. For toasting, I'll season my cast iron pan with some ghee and when the pan is hot, I'll cook the tikkis on both sides till they turn golden brown. Chole is ready and lastly, I'll add lemon juice and chopped coriander to chole before plating the dish. Since we are making chaat, I'll layer it with green coriander chutney, sweet and sour tamarind chutney, coriander leaves, crushed paneer and julians of beetroot. And a protein rich chole tikki is ready to serve. And these are all the meals that I ate throughout the day. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to show your love. Talk to me in the comment section below and share your thoughts, bits of advices and opinions. Also, do join me on Instagram for some daily life updates and behind the scenes. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Until then, stay tuned and stay connected.